Hey guys, in this video, I will present the paper, The Effectiveness of Future Attribution Methods and Its Correlation with Automatic Evolution Scores Accepted at Neuris 2021. This work was done by Zhang Nguyen, De Young Kim, and Anh Nguyen. Over the recent years, AI has achieved remarkable performance on many domains, even surpassing humans in image classification. For example here, AI can precisely identify this is Cabbage butterfly. Interestingly, with explainable AI methods, we have clues into why AI thinks this is cabbage butterfly. This attribution math explains the white wing made the AI thinks this is cabbage butterfly. This feature attribution map can be leveraged to teach us how to classify butterfly ties, localize tumors in x ray scans or highlight keywords in words of text. Given the explanation capability of AI, can AI team up with humans to improve human decision-making in challenging or high-stakes problems? Future attribution have been found useful in improving user performance on textual and tabular data. However, in image domain, they were less success stories. In the standard ImageNet classification, where many attribution methods were originally designed for, the effectiveness of attribution maps is unknown. This motivates us to ask, are attribution maps useful for humans in image classification? Why dozens of attribution methods have been invented? Most of them were only tested on automatic evolution metrics such as pointing game, quickly supervised localization, deletion, insertion, or IOU, which do not include humans in the loop. So do these proxy evolution metrics correlate with human accuracy in image classification is our second research question. So to answer these two questions, we perform a user study on both lay and expert users. We compare users' accuracy when they were given no explanations, or state-of-the-art heat maps explanations, and nearest neighbors. To have a better view of the effectiveness, we used both real and adversarial images, which are known to be challenging to machines and also humans. We come to our findings. First, we found that human AI teams solely outperform AI alone if humans have expertise. More precisely, in every object of natural image net, human AI teams beat AI alone by around 6.5%. The story changed entirely when humans were asked to classify dogs. It shows a decrease of 3.1%. Second, we also found that feature attribution is not more effective than very simple three nearest neighbors. In particular, users with heat maps perform similarly on natural image net, but much worse on Stanford dogs and adversarial image net. In natural image net, they perform similarly, but three nearest neighbors may be more informative. Can you guess the name of this object? AI thinks this is Lado. Three nearest neighbor in this case inform users that Lido can have a wheel shape and help users correctly accept AI prediction of Lido. On natural Stanford docs, three nearest neighbors is much more useful than attribution maps, which keeps highlighting the dog face regardless of when model is correct or wrong. In adversarial image net, humans still found three nearest neighbors much better. For example, here, three nearest neighbors contrast Lorikit and be either white heat maps do not have. Our third finding is visual explanations can even hurt the human AI team performance in challenging tasks. For example, here, adversarial Stanford dogs is pretty difficult when users do not have expertise and inputs are adversarial examples. Not only attribution maps, but three nearest neighbors also failed in this challenging scenario. Here, it shows visually similar examples with the input image. 
On both real and adversarial images combined, we found users of nearest neighbors perform substantially better than all other methods in both the mean and standard deviation. We also conducted an experiment on expert users who are machine learning researchers familiar with attribution maps and nearest neighbors. Interestingly, experts also found nearest neighbors to be better than red cam. Our user study enables very interesting insights, but it was costly to execute and requires many lay and expert participants. Here, we revisit the second research question. Can we use existing automatic evolution metrics to measure the effectiveness of attribution maps? To answer this question, we measure the correlation between human accuracy and three common metrics. Uh, namely putting game, quickly supervised localization, and IOU. Unfortunately, we only found weak correlations between human accuracy versus proxy scores. Interestingly, humans can still make a lot of correct decisions when attribution maps localize badly. And they still make wrong decisions when attribution maps localize perfectly, which suggests poor correlations of proxy metrics versus human accuracy. From that, we believe that it will be exciting future research to invent automatic evolution metrics that more accurately predict explanation utility. Thank you for watching this video. This research was funded by National Science Foundation, Geist, and Auburn University.